Hello and welcome to That British Homestead. Today, well, over the weekend I made some strawberry planters out of some old kind of cracked water butts and I brought down some strawberries from my home garden and I'm going to plant them out. It is very windy today. So I'm talking to you in my greenhouse which is just full of life as you can see. Look at them flowers! Oh my god, we're gonna have pea soon, it's gonna be great. So there's like several benefits of growing strawberries at home. One is always the first, <laughs> is the freshness that you get of your strawberries that you grow at home. You literally could harvest them at the peak of their ripeness, which means that you cannot, you literally can't buy them any fresher or tastier at the shops, which is really good. And you can even harvest them just before they're ripe, um, but that's what they do in the shops, and they don't taste as good. Like I like them as red as red can get. Another benefit is that not only is it organic and chemical free, but it's chemical free. Okay, so not all organic things, they still use chemicals on them. And you can grow strawberries of your very own um, with whatever method you want. You can choose or either um, organic pesticides, exact. Um, etc or nothing at all you can avoid synthetic fertilizers and pesticides that can be harmful to insects and who knows if they're ex um if they're harmful for humans you know um also if you grow organically you tend to get produce that is higher in nutrients which means that it basically has more vitamin C, etc., and higher levels that are found in there, antioxidants and all sorts of compounds. Um, this is for due to the fact that organic farming or, or organic growing, I should say, uh, focuses on building healthy soil and natural methods of promoting plant growth instead of synthetic and fast ones. It's a little bit like you can go to the shops and eat a bunch of sugar and then you can be like, wow, I've got loads of energy. And then you crash afterwards um, instead of building soil, which would be like having a really hearty meal that is made out of like healthy carbohydrates, etc., that will last a long time and break down over time. Now, it's also better for the environment Organic growing in general promotes soil health, biodiversity and um, cultivating and preserving natural resources. Whereas, say, growing things in the traditional way, till soil, which leads to soil erosion and stuff like that, which promotes the um, environmental impact on the ecosystem and it, every allotment has to have ten, tons and tons of biodiversity because you do grow less large place uh, less large than say monocultures of farms which are absolutely huge another thing that is a benefit but not massively a concern right now but there is no gmos i do know that there is a new um well not new but newish strawberry out that is a gmo and it is crossed well the it's the genes of a arctic fish that have been put into a strawberry to stop them being frost um damaged which is interesting don't be wrong but it is an alternative that's out there and you can ensure that the strawberries that you have are non-gmo and exactly what you want but the most important one is, honestly, the taste of the strawberries you grow yourself are so much better because they are healthier, they're grown slower, and they're just absolutely full of flavour, and it's absolutely amazing. However, it is more sustainable, so if you are worried about that, and all more environmental friendly, I know I'm concerned about that. As I get older, it's more of a concern, and these are some benefits that some people think about, and I do myself as well. Additionally speaking, I'm talking about money right and i'm telling you right now that strawberries are expensive in the shop not massively expensive but they're like pricey now if you get enough strawberry plants you will have more strawberries than you know what to do with i'm telling you i started off with about 10 strawberry plants and i have probably over a thousand now every year i get more strawberry plants because they reproduce through asexual reproduction meaning that they make clones of themselves so they're exactly the same strawberry plant and they produce hundreds of strawberry plants 
over a few years time because each one literally reproduces over one or two strawberry plants so you get overrun with them i am overrun with them i'm giving them away left right and center so there is that point as well so if you want to save money on things like berries which are super expensive in the shops then it's worth doing berries also berries actually um are one of the few uh, fruit or vegetables that take up the most amount of fertilizer and pesticide when you buy them from the shop so if you could grow something at home those mushrooms and raspberries tend to be the ones that you should be growing so that you don't eat so much fertilizer and pesticide um i i spend quite a lot of time worrying about that i don't know if i'm the only one but it is something that is a concern to me Another thing that I think is phenomenal about growing stuff at home is exercise and stress relief. So I've talked about this a few times, but the exercise and the, the strength that I build up from gardening is amazing. Like, I'm so much stronger now that I garden because I'm doing things like bur burrowing for like six hours a day. I'm doing things like carrying really heavy um, harvested baskets or mud or whatever I'm doing and I'm growing such muscles that I didn't even know I had because when I first started gardening I kept having to ask my partner to do things I was like oh can you pick this up for me I can't do it now I pick it up and it's just nothing and I've become so much stronger so much more relaxed and my anxiety level is just down and I feel like it's so rewarding to come over here really early in the morning and get this done before work that's why I'm wearing the gloves because I keep coming to work with like minging hands um so yeah that is one of the most important things I I want to put across but also education and fun is also important if you have any kitty winkies honestly throwing strawberries is the best thing to do with them because honestly they will absolutely love growing strawberries because you can literally gorge yourself on these sweet delicious things which are awesome but I really am like I said last time I am running out of space down the allotment so I am going to be doing these uh, strawberries in raised bed they are super good and they have tons and tons of like great things about them so they get super good drainage because strawberries do need to be kind of elevated if the strawberry itself gets like on the ground then it kind of gets these like soft patches on them a little bit like when you buy them at the shop and they're stuck in the packet touching each other and they can lead to rot or they just get a little bit mushy i really hate mushy strawberries so that is a concern for me i sound like such a princess but um also you can improve the soil in a very locate um local area for example when we put in the compost in there um strawberries are really shallow rooting so you can even if you had like a flat bed you could fill it up with say um twigs and stuff and then put compost only thinly and um, like about five or six inches and that would be a great way to do you also have less weeding i mean the only place i'm going to get weeds really is at the top but i put a thick layer of wood chips on top so it should be okay now it also means that i don't have to waste a bed on strawberries and grow more than i could normally and when you kind of like try to start growing like a year's worth of food space is a premium so there is that to take into consideration also when you're walking along it's easy access i've grown uh wood chips i've grown strawberries in a bed and i find because their leaves just grow everywhere and you've got all of the clones and stuff like that it's sometimes super difficult to actually see the strawberries and i find that they've either gone past the ripeness that i desire or the slugs have got them before i get to them so it's so much easier to walk past a one of these towers and pop them off and i'm going to gorge myself as soon as it comes to strawberry season i'm going to gorge myself on these strawberries technically you're not meant to harvest them in the first year but i'm going to i'm even sorry for it so i'm going to absolutely gorge myself so um you also get a, a bit of a longer growing season when you're elevating a planter because the soil has a warmer climate microclimate than it would for a little bit longer now this is going to be in the sun all day long because this particular allotment is south facing and i'm telling you the sun will beat down on this thing so the soil will get super lovely and warm but because it's so large i'm going to be able to 
retain water, which is going to be a struggle. I've absolutely drenched this and it's worked quite well. So I'm going to make sure that it stays nice and moist. And the large amount of wood chip that I popped on top will help with water retention. I've talked about wood chip and the benefits of deep mulch um, a few times. I kind of like in the back of my mind am thinking that I may have an issue later on with uh, water retention because of the summer this year and I kind of am a little bit concerned that it's going to be a very very hot summer or there might be a few hot summers coming up so I'm making sure that I am using lots and lots of wood chip so that I don't have to worry about that this will rot down it will incorporate lots of organic meta in it and it'll be great now I have allowed this to kind of like smush down naturally over a couple of days because like I said I did this on the weekend and now it's a day that I'm going to work hence the suit trousers that I'm shoveling horse manure with um <laughs> I smell great at work um and basically I'm making sure that there is no issue with water there's no issue with roots or anything like that I'm really hoping that this works out really well because like I said I've had tons of pest damage when it comes to strawberries I love strawberries. It's one of my favourite things to eat. And it's something that I'm always really glad to have. We eat a lot of jam. And one of the other benefits of growing your own strawberries is that you have jam that you can control the level of sugar in and that's really important because lots of the jams that you buy in the shops are very high in sugar and you can also control what you have in it now my family absolutely detests lumps of strawberries in their jam which is ridiculous because that's like the most expensive luxurious uh, jam that you can get they don't just don't like the lumps of strawberries so what I do is I kind of like mush them up strain them and get as much like liquid out of them as possible by soaking them in sugar and then I go ahead and make whatever's left into strawberry crumble which is one of my family's favorite ways of eating strawberries and when you have as many strawberries as I do I reckon I've probably got way over a thousand um you do end up thinking of ingenious ways of using strawberries like strawberry wine which is very 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 nice but very 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 it's like vodka um so yeah it does it does make you like oh that's nice <laughs> when you drink it whenever we have people over we're always like do you want to try our strawberry wine and everyone's like no I've heard it's like vodka so it is it was a great thing to try not that I'm a big drinker but it is something that was very interesting for us to do this concern about growing these strawberries down the allotment is birds so I'm going to be spray painting some stones to look like strawberries and I'm probably going to either glue them on or just hang them like little Christmas ornaments from the whole of this planter so that the birds get used to seeing big red juicy um, strawberries and think oh no they're just stones this technique has worked wonders for us every year before I used to like paint them red and then draw like make them look like strawberries but I literally now just spray paint them red okay and I've had no issues with this at all it's worked amazingly now I don't know if that's going to work with the rabbits so we'll see if not I'll just a hint go ahead and like fence it all off but I'm hoping that I won't have to do that okay this is very exciting stuff I literally cannot wait to get all of these done I'm probably going to do my other um beds this week when it comes to the uh, weekend I'm going to be doing filling this up because I'm telling you right now when you're lifting up a wheelbarrow it's so much easier doing it with two people it does go everywhere as you've seen but it's so much easier so I'm going to make sure that I do the rest of them they're all drilled out I just used a drill with a bore hole I believe it's called over the top and it's very simple process you just kind of like drill into it and you've got these beautiful stunning strawberries and you can just see how well they're going to fill out and look amazing all them strawberries are going to hang down the side so you can put them super close together so, yeah i'm so glad that's done um i was really super excited about that i've got about two or three more planters to do but i do want to grow loads of strawberries and um, the reason I'm moving the strawberries from home, because all them strawberries are from my house, is because we're over here at the allotment with such bad 
pest problems without it's corn. It's just not worth growing over here. So I'm going to grow my corn at home. So I'm moving all my strawberries over here. And I prefer growing them in planters. So I'm going to plant up as many planters as I can out of old butts. I've got quite a lot of cracked butts over here. They're just basically absolutely useless. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've still got about four butts that I'm going to be actually using. So I'm not like worried about running out or anything like that. So I'm going to make sure that I have enough so that I have tons for fresh eating, some for crumble, some for making strawberry wine and some for jam. So I need about 300 strawberries ish, which I have way more than at home. So I might even do a big bed of strawberries as well, which is exciting stuff. And of course, it's always good to have some for the chickens as well. They really love strawberries. Um, my partner's been doing the um planters for me which is super awesome because it's so much quicker when two people are doing it and i'm gonna make sure that they're really well watered and it's just horse manure that we get for free and then i put some wood chip on top to save for the weeds and to hold in some water which is going to be super good i'm hoping this way works they're really shallow rooting so i'm assuming that the loads of the plant is going to be completely wasted but that's fine I might even do a planter where it's got one side that is strawberries or one side that's like mushrooms or something. I don't know yet. We'll see. We could even do that in the future. See how well it goes. So it's super exciting and I'm so glad that I've done that already. I feel really super pumped. It's only like six o'clock in the morning and I feel like, woo, I'm ready to take on the day now. Watching. And if you haven't done already, please subscribe because you could laugh at me because it's backfire massively. I just wanted to show you the beauty of my peas. They've all got these beautiful white oh, flowers on them. Look at them. Oh look, I'm growing air buds as well. So yeah, it, everything's coming to life. Look, they're all ready to go out. Just ready and raring to go. Look. This is looking really good in here, isn't it? I need to plant some bits Have you out. planted any of your stuff out yet? I was, I was so worried about planting it out, but I'm going to soon. Probably in the next couple of weeks, I'll start growing, planting some of this stuff out because to be honest, I'm running out of space. So you guys are gonna have to be like the sacrificial lambs. <laughs> because I've got to bring in my sweet peas and all sorts down here. So they got to go somewhere. So exciting stuff. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.